So I posted yesterday about finding a possible solution to the dead bank 22 issue that a lot of players have. Um, I So far I have found one thing that works and I'm going to show you how to do it. Right. So here I've got my bank 22 head. It is dead. Um, I'll put the pin in it and pull it for you so that you can see that it does drop immediately and doesn't have any kind of timer delay whatsoever. So. So I am putting it all the way to the highest setting. Um, that's as far as it'll go. It won't turn anymore. It's just so that you can see uh, where uh, even that at the highest setting, there's no delay. It's kind of hard to get on camera. Um, unfortunately, I don't have anyone to hold my phone for me. So I, uh, I have to set it on the platform so that I can do it which makes it a little hard to really show anything because of the movement. But there you go. That was a good one. So you saw me pull the pin and you saw it drop immediately. Um, so very much dead. Uh, it doesn't work. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is pull the head off. Uh, just use something with a flat on it. There's a thick O-ring under here that's holding this in place, and there's nothing else that, that keeps it in place. Just got to pop this off like that. And I did show this in my first maintenance video where I said that um, Airsoft Innovations has said there was no way to refill the reservoir and unfortunately well at the time it didn't matter because you could just send it back and they would give you a new timer head but now that they're out of business they're defunct um can't really do that anymore right so now you have a very expensive paperweight that you can't use and this should hopefully be a solution for you now i don't have the best tools i don't have a machine shop of any kind so i am just really using what I happen to have in hand here in my house. Uh, when you pop this out, you have to be very careful because if this strikes the ground, it can bend. Uh, the other one that I did bent and the third one that I have, I actually broke. Um, and I'm gonna show you here the pieces. So this piece broke, it snapped in two. And this is the part, this is the firing pin right here. And obviously, as you may have guessed, this is the part that the pin goes into, the, the grenade pin slots into this right here so broke one of my bank 22s waste of money whatever i did it hopefully you don't repeat my mistake but you're basically going to find something that has a good enough diameter to fit into this put it in there and then because again i don't have a machine shop i don't have any kind of presses or anything like that i'm just going to hammer it out just a couple gentle taps or not gentle they're they're in there pretty good you're gonna have to whack it pretty hard you'll feel when they come out though not out yet there it is it came out right so you open it up and you have this this is the top portion right here with uh ah, let me get some towels so this right here is going to be your top portion i don't know what size o-rings these use so if you need new o-rings uh, you may want to measure them somehow, um, but there's an O-ring here. There's an internal O-ring as well right here. I'm not sure how well you can see that. There's an internal O-ring right there, and obviously there's the big O-ring on the back. This piece goes in first, and then you have your spring. The spring has little bent edges there. Those edges go into little slots right here. There's a little hole here and there's a little hole on the other piece so that the, the spring stays in place. They're pretty obvious. So when you open this up, uh, you're not going to have to worry about whether you're going to lose a position of it or whatever. This is the bottom plate. And this is the piece that I broke. Um, don't know if it really matters if anybody's going to want to take it down that far. But this is just pressure fit. So if you put this on a vise or something and you strike this downward, it should slip out um i don't know why you would want to do that but you know something for you to know if that is something that you would like to do um again just put it in advice and lightly very very lightly because as you can see here this does have a thin section right here it thins out and that's where mine snapped so just be very very careful with these piece it is very very fragile um, and again an o-ring out here don't know the size of that either 
And then the bottom piece has also an internal O-ring right here and an external O-ring right here. So that's how you open it up all the way. Now for the piece that everybody probably wants to know is what kind of liquid or fluid or whatever you want to call it are you going to put into this? Well, I tried uh, hydraulic fluid because that's what Airsoft Innovations had initially told me that they put in there. Well, that was way too thin. I tried an oil as well. Also, way too thin. That's not going to work. The only thing that I found that did work is this Lucas Heavy Duty Oil Stabilizer, right? Now, Lucas does have a pretty good reputation, so I wouldn't be too concerned about it somehow damaging your brass pieces here or your O-rings. You know, it is a lubricant, and Lucas, again, they're a pretty well-known company here in the U.S. So, this stuff is super, super, super thick. It's like freaking honey. So this will 100% give you the delay that you're looking for out of your grenades. Now, filling it up is the tricky bit to an extent, um, depending on how you choose to do it. Now, I kind of went the hard way the first time I did this, and it took me way longer and it was way messier than it should have been. So what you're going to do is once you get everything cleaned up or whatever you need to do to it, you're going to pop the top piece in. You're going to hammer that back into place so that it holds. And again, I don't have a press, I don't have anything, so this is really about as good as my tools are going to get right now. This, this is it. All right, um, I know some of you may be like cringing at the way that I'm doing this. I'm sorry. I wish I had the money to buy proper tools. Alright, so that piece is in. Make sure it seats all the way. Once you do that, you put the spring in. And again, remember that there's that little slot for this hooked piece to go into. You put that in there. And this can be a little bit tricky, uh, depending on how much light you have available to work with. I'm using the flashlight on my phone. And the little overhead shop light that I have here in the garage, uh, which is not very good, so... But there you go, it's in. And then you're going to want to line up this big hole. There's a little hole right here as well. Don't worry about that one, you're worried about the big hole. You can line up the big hole with the other bent end of the spring. Come on, there you go. Then you're gonna push that in. <clears throat> and then once you've got it pushed in, you're going to insert the, fire, uh, the grenade pin into it. And then you're going to turn it so that it's all the way at the very, very top so that you can pour the oil into it. Right? You're going to take your Lucas Heavy Duty Oil Stabilizer. And you're going to pour it in there till it fills up. Like I said, this stuff is super freaking thick. I, I'm sure you can see it in the video there. This stuff is like molasses. But that's good because that's what you want. You want that viscosity because that's what's going to provide the resistance that you need for the timer to work. All right, so once that's in, and this is honestly gonna be the hardest part. Um, you can see here, I'm not sure how well the camera's capturing it, there's a thin edge and a thick edge. You want it to go thin edge in first, all right? So the thin edge is the inside portion, the thick edge is the outside portion, all right? Um, fill it up with as much as you need. Some of it may spill out, that's fine, don't worry about it. The bottle costs about $15, so it's really not that expensive, and you get more than what you need to fill one of these up. Um. Oh, this is where it starts to get a little hard. I should have put this back on first, because now I need a way to hold this so that I can attempt to press this in. Be very careful when you're doing this as well because you can bend some parts. Um, I bent this little thin piece right here on my second Bang 22. This is my third one, uh, so hopefully I don't ruin this one. But this little piece, realistically, from what I've seen, doesn't matter because the thick portion that surrounds it is actually the firing pin. I'm not really sure what the purpose of this little one that that has that is spring loaded. I don't know what that does. <laughs> But let me just finish putting this in. Okay. 
try to make sure that it's as flush as possible. Um, from what I've seen, if it doesn't go completely flush, it's not a big deal. Like I can feel, you can't see it, but I can feel it in mine that it's still a little bit raised over here. Um, I haven't had any issue with the other one that I fixed. So if you don't get it completely, completely flush, it really isn't a big deal. Um, if you are OCD about that kind of thing, you know, feel free to, to find whatever way you can to get it as flush as possible. Um, it is a little difficult. I don't know that I've been able to get it done on any of the three that I've done. But I'm sure it is possible if you have the proper tools. There we go. That feels good. All right. So for the moment of truth, does it work? All right. Now I'm going to pull the pin here. Whoop. Pin is out. And it drops. Now that is way more than five seconds, which is what I believe initially this was supposed to go to at the highest setting. Um, so if you don't like it, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know how to fix that. Uh, I would imagine that because of the design of this thing, over time, the reservoir may empty again unless this uh, heavy-duty stabilizer has a stop leak to it. And even then, I don't know that that would really do anything for you. But here it is on the lowest setting, right? So it's at the lowest setting that you can put it on. I'm going to pull the pin again. Oh, this stuff is extremely sticky, so just prepare for that. It's literally like having sugar water on your hands for hours. <sighs> There you can see that was a little more delayed or a little faster, but still had that good delay that you want. Oh, come on. And then I'm going to do the second setting here real quick for you as well. Right, and this is the second setting. I'm not really sure how fast this is going to go off. There you go. Um, now I do have a loaded Bang 22 right here. So just for those of you that want to actually hear it explode. Uh, this may be loud. If you're wearing headphones, I would cover, or I would take them off or lower the volume because these things are super freaking loud. All right, here we go. I'm going to put it on the second setting just to, to have it. And pin is out. delicious hopefully this works for you guys uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments and i do my best to reply to everyone that comments on my video so hopefully this helps you guys and if you have a dead bank 22 good luck these things are awesome it sucks that ai is out of business and isn't replacing things anymore but at least now you can fix it yourself